guys, welcome to the 46th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. This tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the is keyword and the cast operator because they work together. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button. And once you have that on your form, just double click on it. So, to start off here, we're just going to create an object. And, oops, create an object. And we're going to set it equal to a string. Let's call it my object. Set it equal to a string. And that string will just say Adam. Alright, and, and now we're going to create an if statement to see what type of object this is. Since the object can be set equal to anything, like a subcategory of object would be like a string right here. So we can check to see if this is a string. And in order to do that, we're going to type if, and then object, or whatever you call your object. It is, and then a string, and this will return true only if our object is equal to a string. And since our object is equal to a string, then we can do something with that. And let's just make sure that this works. So we'll have a message box show saying uh, test, I guess, and we should get a message box here when we click on the button because our object is indeed um, a string. Yep, it is a string. So now we could show this object in the message box by doing the object name, which is my object and dot to string. But there's another way. It's called the cast operator. And what you're going to want to do is just put two parentheses before the name of your object. And then inside of these parentheses, you're going to want to type the uh, name of the variable which you want to convert it into. And we want to convert it into a string. And the only way that you'll be allowed to do this or use this cast operator is if this returns true. If you have an is statement or an if statement using the is operator to check if your um, variable is uh, another type of variable. So like if we tried to like cast this as an integer, it wouldn't work because this is a string and it's not an integer. So now when we debug here and click button one, we should get a message box just saying Adam. Yep. Because basically it converted this object into a string because we told it to be a string. But if we type like int in here, we will get an error. It says cannot convert from um, from int to string. So yeah, we just can't cast it. And you can also do this with other types of variables, not just like object to like a string or something. You could like do a control. So like if we had a control, let's say control, call it my control, uh, control, and set the equal to the button on our form. Well, button one is a control, but more specifically, it's a button. So we can check to see if our control is a button. And if it is a button then what we're going to do right here is we're going to cast it into a button. We're going to create a new button, let's call it my button, and we'll set it equal to um, casting our um, my control variable right up here at, into um, uh, a button. So we can just do my control right here, and now since my control is actually a button, we will create a new button variable um, casting my control as a button. So it will basically convert this into a button. And then now we can do something with this button. So I'm just going to have the, the button's text be displayed in a message box. So I'm just going to do inbox here and display my button. Oops. My button dot text. So now when we debug, click button one, we should get um, button one, since that's the text of this button. Yep. Now there's something else you can do. You can also use the as keyword. So, and that's just an alternative to the cast. So we can do um, my control as a button. And that just does the exact same thing. And it will convert this control into a button because it's like casting my control as a button and it'll do the exact same thing as before. It's just an alternative to the cast. Yep. And that would look at our objects too. So if we created our object up 
here. Then we could create a new string. Um, equals our object as a string. So it will just convert it into a string. But we're going to want to check to see up here if it's a string in fact. And then we can just um, show that string in the message box. So now when we debug, we should just get hello. Yep. And having an if statement to check if it is a variable, you don't need to have that there, but it's usually good just to make sure that it, this cast is possible. Otherwise, you'll get an error and you don't want errors. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on the is keyword, the as keyword, and the cast operator. So, see you guys.